Hello and welcome to the Everybody's Talking About Climate Change online community forum moderators website. My name is Caroline Harmon and I work for March's Energy Agency. We look after the Everybody's Talking About Climate Change website on behalf of the Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire Local Authority Energy Partnership. During the first half of this webinar, I'm going to take you through how to create an account on the forum and use it for yourself. During the second half, I'm going to explain how to moderate the forum. There is a moderator's manual that goes with this webinar and it can be found on the website alongside the recording of this webinar. So this is the website that you can see and its address is everybody's-talking.org. So the first thing you'll need to do is create an account for yourself. So on the left-hand toolbar, you can click on Community Forum. Okay, you can then scroll down and in the bottom left, click on Create New Account. So you'll need to choose a username. I'll just choose one. And enter your email address. And then you'll need to put in the code. Oh, which, as is often the case, it doesn't recognize. There we go. So you'll then get a message on the screen that says your password and further instructions have been sent to your email address. So if I go to my email, there's the email. Okay. So it gives you your username and your password, temporary password, and also a link you can click on to go there. So also, if you scroll to the bottom, there's a little message, before beginning to make posts to the forum, please read the forum's guidelines. These are available under the category forum guidelines. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. We cut and paste, copy the password. Okay. So it takes you to this, so we can paste in the password into my email. Okay, I'm now logged in and it'll take you straight to the community forums homepage. So as I said, there was a message asking us to read the forum guidelines. If we click on forum guideline, there's a sticky post, a post that will always be at the top. And there's some simple guidelines to read there about some do's and don'ts for using the um, forum, which all users can use, not just all users should read, not just moderators. Okay. So once you've read those, you can go back to the forums. And what you've got here um, is a list of all the different categories you can post under. So you've got community energy, energy efficiency, local food, and so on. So as a user of the forum, you might want to post a message. Um, so let's imagine that um, I'm a member of a community group and we want to start a solar panel bulk purchase scheme. So the obvious topic is community energy bulk purchase. So I'll click on that one. I'll click on new topic. First of all, you can get a subject that people will see before they read it. And then in the body, you write your message. Just got a typo there. So once you've written your message, scroll down and you can preview your message to check you're happy with it. There we go. And if you want, just here you could um, make any changes. But if you're happy with the way it's going to look, you scroll down and save it. There you go. So that's your message. If we go back to forums, you now see that under bulk, bulk purchase there's one message just created. There it is. Okay. So if you'd like to read a post, you simply click on click on any anything and you can read other people's posts. There we go. And when you log in, some of the errors will appear as yellow like this, which just means that those 
categories have got new posts in that you haven't read before. Okay. Once you've read a post, you might want to respond to it. So someone might read my built purchase post and want to make a response. And they can quite simply, so long as they're logged in, hit reply. Okay. And a, this box comes up, so it's just below the original message. And you can type your reply. And again, you can preview it or simply save it. And it will appear directly under the original message. They appear in the order they've been posted. And there will always be a reply button at the bottom message and a comment. So you can always add more comments. So that concludes the first half of the webinar. Please log on to the second video to find out how to moderate the website. Thank you.